it's a really high profile festival. There's a lot of focus on the festival at a professional level and also at a public level. Um, there's a lot of movie stars here. There's a lot of paparazzi. Like it's just a really great prestigious festival to be a part of. Yeah, it's a bit overwhelming in some respects uh, to come to a place like this and to have your films shown alongside so many other films. And it's really great for the Australian industry because I feel like there's really interesting, important filmmakers breaking through, but there's also great filmmakers making films in Australia again, and there's a really strong crop of films coming out of Australia at this time, and I guess that's, that's going to be good for all of us. This is all new to me, um, you know, film festivals, being a subject of a documentary, um, and you know, I've really enjoyed, you know, Telluride last week and now Toronto this week. So I thought I knew what to expect coming here after being in Telluride, but the amount of people here, the amount of documentaries, the amount of films that are being uh, shown here, it's just incredible. Coming over here with Black Beach, being the first Australian TV series to be selected in the primetime program is an incredible honour. Making television, you know, is often overlooked. So when you're one of six slots in a huge amount of output and you're here at Toronto being selected, it is just a great honour and a massive relief because it, it's an endorsement. The reception was incredible. There was such a genuine response. People stood up and talked very openly about how they connected to the story of Black Bitch and that was really reaffirming for all of us in the team to actually hear that and, and to see that, you know, this, this story tr is travelling you know, globally, and that's what we want. Coming here with a film like Hearts and Bones, which is about contemporary Sydney, refugees, it's about trauma, and it's about contemporary living, and it's about family, and it's about how do you maintain hope in a really shitty world. I was probably a bit more nervous here because I didn't know how the film would translate to an international audience. But what I found was that it, it did, it was a standing ovation, we got a fantastic response. Hearing what people have to say about the movie and how it affected them and how it impacted them and seeing people cry over it, you know, I mean it's made me cry so being able to share that with people and, and, and see that it translates. It's a global problem that's happening now, these days. So it will raise an awareness to other people, you know, to know exactly what other people feel about. It's very important for me that I come here with that story because I think it's a universal one, but it has a, a uniquely Australian cultural perspective. Our second screening, which was all public, no industry at all, we couldn't get rid of them. We had to say we've got to go and they just said we love your movie and, and we've already got, they've already started a fan Facebook page for us. <laughs> so yeah, so we're very happy. The great response has been that it's gone away from just being an Australian story. Yeah. There's so many people are like, oh I get that. You know we've had a couple of teachers come up and say I'm going to try and use this film in my coaching teams that I'm working with and there's so much emotion created by it and everyone kind of feels it's not just an Australian story. It, it goes way beyond that. From a business point of view, it's a very important festival. And, you know, that's what we're hoping for is to, you know, get some good distribution deals done. You know, Dirt Music is an independent, true independent film. In that, you know, we made it without pre-sales. So, you know, we're hoping that the distributors will like it and want to show it around the world. What the best thing about it has been meeting the other filmmakers in this environment. It's supportive, you're away from home, you're all kind of thrown together as an Australian group of films. And it's that that I think that you're all able to kind of connect on. You're seeing an Australian presence more and more now with all the major film festivals all over the world. And I think that just speaks to the quality of the work that we're doing back home. I think, you know, I think that's the sort of market we need to be now and the way and the ideas that we create and the quality in creating those ideas. You know, we want to be on par with the rest of the world and also not forget that we have such a unique voice in the world market and in the world cinema. 